Hey everybody, it's Paula here from the Exile Club and welcome to today's video. Today's video, we're going to look at something very different because I'm not going to talk about Excel or Power BI or DAX or anything like that. Instead, I'm going to talk to you about the Brave browser. I've got an awful lot more interest in the last while and questions from followers looking to see how they can support the Exile Club on Brave, but I've also got questions from other content creators too on what is this Brave, how can you become a verified Brave creator and so forth. So I wanted to address some of these questions in this video today. So Brave is basically an internet browser. It's a Chromium based internet browser, but it's known for its privacy. Now I initially came across the Brave browser because I was searching for an ad blocker. Now I needed an ad blocker for my phone and I needed an ad blocker for my laptop. And to be honest with you, all these downloads and these add-ins can be a little bit confusing at times. And when I was doing my search, I came across Brave because Brave has this built-in ad blocker feature. Now, not only does it have a built-in ad blocker feature, but it also then has controls for your privacy. And privacy is a big, big thing when you're working online all of the time. Now it controls privacy by not letting people know what websites it is that you're following. And it does this by not connecting directly to the website, but by going through two, three different servers before it actually gets to the website. And that's how it can protect your identity and how you're browsing on the internet. So it was the ads blocker that initially drew me towards Brave. And then when I downloaded the Brave browser and I was using the Brave browser, I found out about the creator's rewards and becoming a verified creator. Now, becoming a verified creator is very easy and we're going to talk about that later in the video. But for the moment, I'm just going to continue talking about the actual Brave browser. So this is the Brave browser here in your screen and you're going to find a link below this video to download and install the Brave browser. Now it's a Chromium based, so it looks very much like Chrome. And when you download and install it, if you have any settings set up in Chrome, you can quickly import them across into the Brave browser and the setup will talk you through all that. Now I'm not very technical, but I found the transfer over extremely easy and not something that you're gonna have to worry about the setup on. So this here is the Brave browser. Now the, for me, in the last while, it has, um, 7,833 trackers and ads blocked. I've saved 62 megabytes in bandwidth and I've saved seven minutes in time from searching and browsing through the Brave browser rather than over a different browser that you can use. And there's plenty of them out there. Now you'll also see up here in the Brave browser, we have Brave Rewards icon and we have Brave Shields. And Brave Shields are down to the settings that you set up. So you can set up loads of different shields in the Brave browser. Now I just have my quick access icons here and down here you can customize your quick access icons and you can go into your preferences, which we look at in a minute. You can view and manage your bookmarks and you can also look at your history. But we're gonna go into the settings quickly for a minute. Now, when you go into the settings, if you go through your getting started and your appearance and set things up the way you want to, it is really, really easy. Then you also have these shields. So do go down through your shields and see what sort of shields it is that you want to set up. So I have tracker and ads blocking just as standard. You can set this in as a much more aggressive form of blocking ads and you will find that things run faster and that you'll save bandwidth and you'll see a larger number of ads in that blocked. So if you're looking for a really great ads blocker, then this is the way to go. But you can also block scripts, you can block cookies, you can block fingerprint blocking, you've all these other blocks that you can add in to really, really enhance your security and your privacy online. So do go through them. So that is in the Brave settings. Now I'm gonna hop over to my own website for a second. I have my own website up here and we can see the shield. I have my shield set up. And when you click into shield, it'll go through the website and it'll load up your website and it'll block. So it's blocked three items from this website. Um, 
and that's basically all that it's blocked because of the settings that I have now if I have things more aggressive you may find that more things are actually blocked you can also turn on and off shields for particular sites now in here because I know many of my followers were asking how can I support you on brave well first of all you need to earn brave rewards and we'll talk about that in a second you can also purchase brave and um, bat tokens on exchanges as well but you can just as easily earn them and to support the exile club well you have this icon up here this brave rewards icon and if the website is verified as a creator you'll see that the little tick here brave is verified as a creator if it's not it'll say that it's not from in here then you can then set a monthly contribution so if you want to donate a monthly tip set amount of brave every single month you can set it up in here or you can just send a once off tip as well so all you have to do is click on these and they it is having problems today where the screen is awful shaky so i'm not sure what the story is there at the moment but that is basically how you can support the exile club or any other verified brave creator on brave now our youtube channel is also verified so if i hop over to our youtube channel you can see here that Paula Guilfoyle on the YouTube is a verified Brave creator and you can also send tips or set a monthly contribution to the YouTube channel. So how is it that if you have a Brave browser can you actually earn rewards? Well let's go back in to a Brave browser for a second and I'm going to go into our settings and in here we have Brave rewards now you need to allow brave ads to be shown in your brave browser for you to actually earn rewards and it's in brave rewards that you can turn on or off ads so we have the ads turned on here we can so the ads are turned on ad notifications this month is zero now you can also change some settings in here which allows you to set how many ads per hour you actually see i only have it on one ad per hour now it's worth noting that ads are specific to location and there may not be any ads available in your area and even though you have this turned on you might not get any ads i don't get any brave ads on my laptop but i do get them on my mobile phone so whatever way the advertisers set things up they can obviously target different devices and by location and at the moment the ads for ireland are being targeted to mobile and not to the browser so i don't have any ads in here but you can see that i have um a small amount of bat from funds that i had earned from ads in the browser so that's how you can earn uh, earn brave now when you earn brave you can go in here and there is the option or there is also the option on your browser to claim any rewards and when you claim rewards you'll see them in here in your brave rewards in your settings now to access these rewards okay you once they're sitting in your browser like this you can easily tip people and you can easily set up mon monthly contributions to content creators that you would like to support if you take them off this you can't use them to tip by taking them off you would transfer them to a wallet and you'd use them on exchanges but that is a different conversation altogether this is basically just how to get yourself up and running so that is from a content consumer's point of view, how you can use the Brave browser. You can go ahead then and you can just use the Brave browser to search for whatever you'd want to search for. In your settings, you can use the default, which I have set as Google. You can set that as something else, but that is all in your settings. You'll find it somewhere down there in your settings. So that is basically how you use it. Now, from a content creator's point of view you need to be a verified content creator with brave in order to actually receive your rewards now if you are not a verified content creator so let's go to the youtube in general and i don't think youtube is a verified creator which is not 
So it says that it's not. So if you go to tip somebody that's not a creator, it says that they've not signed up and any tips you remain will remain in your wallet until they verify. Now, as far as I know, there's a learn more there that you can read. But as far as I know, that they only have a certain amount of time to sign up from when you tip them. And if not, the rewards go back to your wallet. Now, another point is as well, not 100% of the rewards do go of the tips and the rewards sent do go to the creator as far as i know and i might be wrong here on the percentage but i think it is around 70 percent that goes to the creator and i think then brave holds on to the rest of it so that's the direct tipping so if you're not verified the funds actually stay in your own wallet but you can see people that are verified as i showed here when you click in it says that they are brave brave verified so how do you get brave verified well basically if we go into publishers.basicattentiontoken.org and you sign up here for your as a creator now when you sign up you need to have either a youtube channel you need to have a a website you need to have a twitch channel i think you can also use github let me go into my creators page and see what channels we can add channels. So you can have a website, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Vimo, Reddit, or a GitHub, and you can connect all of these to your Brave account. And once you can connect them, then you can receive Brave rewards. So that means that people can tip you and that you can receive these tips. Now, not only can you receive tips but you can also then opt in to have um to allow ads to be placed on your website and if you allow ads to be placed on your website you will also be paid in bat for these ads now the ads and the bat token so the bat token stands for basic attention economy or basic yeah basic attention token so it's based on the basic attention economy so if you're willing to put ads on your website and the content consumer is willing to look at ads, both parties should receive a reward for this. So the bad ads that are placed on your website or that you may see on websites as a content consumer are paid for in bad and bad the company themselves, they don't make all of this money. Instead, 70% of it goes is split somehow between the content consumer, those viewing the ads, and those that are placing the ads on their website. Now the bat token in itself is a token that's exchanged on that you can buy and sell on the open market on many exchanges, cryptocurrency exchanges. The whole thing is blockchain based and the technicalities of the blockchain I don't know all the details for so I'm not going to sit here and spin you a yarn because it is quite technical and if I get things wrong I don't want to misinform you but it is all blockchain based how the ads are shown to the users how the privacy and all is kept this is all blockchain based and is definitely a move forward into web3 that I am delighted to see happen so I hope this video has answered some of the questions for you. For those that are looking to support the Excel Club on the Brave browser or content creators that are looking to start using Brave um, as an alternative browser and become a verified creator as well. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will do so now. Don't forget to hit that notifications button so you don't miss any more of my videos. And I'm sure the next video I'll be back with will be back on Excel or Power BI or something like that. Thanks for watching. Bye now.